This is five two minute rounds. Well, here we go. A very hectic, furious start by Gillian. Snapping away with that heavy right leg low kick. Yeah. A very fast start. Coming into the clinch, working in the clinch. Back to range. Jillian, Jillian's looking to set up behind the jab. Working that jab, keeping her at range and snapping down with a really heavy low kick. Michaela already concerned about that lead leg and it's already bruised up. Yeah, she's not, not blocking at all with those kicks. Uh, they're not very, in fact, when she has lifted the leg up, they've not been very good blocks anyway. Uh, I think she's, she's now blocking because of the, the, the massive impact yeah, that yeah. those first few kicks have had. Well timed push kick there by Gillian. And again, back to that really heavy low kick, slowing those legs down. Nice long knee there by Gillian. That's a big knee, big knee. Well, she bounced, Michaela bounced straight back up. Fantastic heart there by this warrior from Portugal. A massive first round there by Gillian. Has she fought um, Ty before, Rich, or is it just a, a K1 record that Michaela's got? She has fought Ty. She's, um, she's had 10 amateur fights, and she's at, this is her third professional fight. Yeah. So yeah. All, all the other times that she, she's fought, those first sort of 10 times, um, they, were, they were done with sort of body pad and shin guards, head guard yeah. on, with all the, all the amateur regalia. And Gillian stood there waiting in Seconds the, in the away, of the ring. round two. Just keep working on that heavy knee, oh. another heavy knee. Multiple knees. knees. Sinking in. It's the, it's the left knee that's doing the damage. It's the left knee that's doing the damage. Michaela's turning away from it, pushing her left hip forwards, which is turning her on to... Turn on to Gillian's right, uh, left knee. Michaela trying to lift her, the knees of her own, but with no real power in them. Gillian doing a great job of maintaining this, this fight at, at range, at long range, where our advantage is. With the control that she's getting, grabbing hold of the head, knee into the body, this is a five two minute round contest, B class rules, knee to the head are allowed. Some big knees and yeah. it's really hurting Michaela. Michaela's turning away from it. I can't see this going distance with these with these knees going in. Certainly not. Again, Gillian's got that really tight, tight clinch. 
keeping the elbows tucked in. Pulling the head down, pulling the head down, landing those knees to the body, and that's where the massive effect is. This is how she's winning the fight. Michaela's been hurt so badly by those by those left left knees. She's taken two taking a count in each round now. But Gillian looking seconds looking fresh, away, ready for round action. three. Gillian going back to that jab and low kick, trying to get her, trying to get Michaela back onto the back foot. Michaela just not blocking that that heavy low kick on a front leg. But then when Gillian's coming in the kit, in the clinch, pulling the elbows in nice and tight, driving the hips forwards on each and every knee. This is where the good power is. These little pecky knees around to the side of the legs aren't really scoring that much because it, there's, a, there's no power in it. No. These are big knees from Gillian. Yeah, those those knees of Michaela's are just having no effect whatsoever. I think this is a difference between professional and amateur tie boxing. Yeah. Amateur tie boxing, they'd be scoring. But one knee like, <laughs> like Jillian just threw. That's a scoring knee in professional Muay Thai. Oh, great technique there by Jillian. Close the distance down, coming into the clinch. Yeah, straight through the middle of them knees as well. One of the biggest scores in Thai boxing. Nice time push kick. And a great end to the round there for Gillian. The thing is, Michaela's doing really well on the on the outside when she when she's been offensive. When she when she's throwing her, throwing her attacks, she looks dangerous. She's yeah. got she's got some heavy punches and she and she's timing the the kicking of the standing leg really well. If she was to do that more, then this is how she how she she should be starting to to build a strategy back and get back into the game. But we're going into round four, the second real money round. This is where it's won and lost. Yeah, I think uh, I think Michaela. I think she just seconds carry on, away. Carry on the same. I think round she's four. Best to survive the fight and go the distance. I think she's enjoying it. She's enjoying it. And this is exactly what we were just saying. Yeah. Taking that standing leg. She needs to work on it, work on her defence and not get that front leg kicked so much. This is what's putting her at such a yeah, such she's, a disadvantage. She's not giving much back in return. She needs to come forward more. Just, just use her hands. Good control there by Gillian. Yeah, she's using those arms well, isn't she, to keep her, uh, keep her close in.
Portuguese corner telling tell Michaela to use the boxing more. Down to work on the jab cross left hook. And this is what she, this is what is this is what O'Connor's saying. He's just throwing single shots. Just throw single shots, and you're not going to have the have the effect that you want. And there we go, another solid round for Gillian. Seconds away, the fifth and final round. Some nice kicking technique from, from Gillian, maintaining that range of distance and then closing it down right into the clinching range. Michaela's very dangerous with the boxing. Yeah. She's got some heavy hands. But Gillian's doing a fantastic mm. job in keeping the fight either at full length kicking range or closing distance all the way down into, into the, this kneeing range here. The nice knee to the head there. Kale is one tough cookie, Rich. Certainly is. Had a couple of knees to the head and she just carried on coming. Yeah. Oh. Turned into that head kick. Ouch. It's a good job she's got a good eye guard. <laughs> I bet she'll feel that in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Girls looking at each other, laughing and joking. <laughs> Can tell her they're enjoying it. Some great knee work there by Gillian to finish off the round. And the girl's staying in an embrace. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, while we collect the judges' scorecards, would you please show your appreciation for both fighters? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous decision with all three judges in favour of your winner. From the Wicker Camp, right here in Sheffield, Gillian And there we have it, an absolutely fantastic performance put on there by Gillian Corbett. Would you please continue your applause for a great fights, opponent from Albufeira, Portugal, Michaela Varela! And a sterling performance put in by Michaela Varela. She was here for a, a fight. Very tough, very strong, very determined. 
Cowden going all the way through. Good fight, girls.